We're here with Stephen Maiori. Um, Stephen, you've been a part of this conference and we really appreciate your input from uh, Africa, uh, Kenya. Yes. And um, as you experience on the field, um, orality as the primary way of learning, as a, a primary oral culture even, uh, how do you see uh, orality impacting theological education in your context? Yeah, for me, Jack, this, you know, this kind of has been the missing link mm -hmm. in doing theological education. I think with the, we've got most of our seminaries got the most of their curriculums and everything else from the West, and we took the print way, the literate way of doing theology, and yet our people, we live in an oral culture where stories play a very big role, where proverbs play a very big role, where song play a very big role, and all those forms of communicating truth or building up uh, people within the society. So when I was here listening, I said, wow, the word actually that came to me, I said, this is it. This is it. Uh, because now we have a tool that we will use in theological education that actually penetrates right to the heart. You know, you're able to but when you give facts, the three points, these are the three points to, mm -hmm. to, to get. Somebody's going, okay, do I believe in that? Do I like that? But when you give a story, it goes right straight to the heart. Can you give me a specific illustration of how you will take that yeah. and put it into practice in, in your program? Yes. What we are looking at right now is we have, we, we're developing this, this uh, story through the Bible. So we'll say, for example, in, in, in a class, we have, in the morning we begin with stories. We, we all go through with the students uh, the story. Then during the chapel, somebody else will come and talk, talk to us about the story, then in small groups. What does happen is by repeating, and that was the African way, you keep repeating that and, and, and learning that is much deeper takes place. And uh, for us, that is, through character formation, because once you have that, it passes through the normal, what did you call that? It bypasses the mind to the heart. Yes. <laughs> and that's yes. what we want to happen in, 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 in the character character formation. We will, we will still, again, do the normal class work, the, the literature work, but we will now use story in passing as a medium of communicating what, 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 uh, what, what we are sharing. For us, in our context, uh, Proverbs, for example, uh, I want to say was if you are to be seen in the community to have learned, you, uh, you have the respect, mm -hmm. then you will have learned quite a number of Proverbs and you are able to communicate. Yeah. Uh, what, we, what we did when, with theological education is we, we threw that out. Now we are saying we are going back to that. <laughs> Reclaiming. Reclaiming that yeah. as part of learning because then when you share that within the in the tribal area, they now listen. They, they are their ear yes. is, is right with you because they say this person is learning and is able to communicate. So the bottom line that I'm saying here is I think with the primary learners, the oral learners, uh, we now have a tool that we are looking at and saying we will use this to equip our pastors with those skills, uh, so that as they go out to their churches, they are able to communicate to their people or train other people to be able to communicate and it will be so easy. The other one you have to go teach people how to learn, teach people how to read, how sure. to read. It's, it's a very long process and yet we have an, an, and for me the genius uh, Chuck is Christ used this method. Uh, this actually the Jesus method <laughs> of teaching. So saying well we've we beat the bush for a long time now we have it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Very good. Thank you for your help, and uh, we will uh, enjoy seeing your programs as they develop. Thank you so much. Yeah, we we are committed to it, as I said as I said yesterday. I think this we haven't figured out exactly how all the details about it, but we, we are working on this so that in the next few years now we can come, mm -hmm. and, and uh, we want to be a model probably if not in Africa or the rest of the world. We want to to model this and sure. see how this works. Very good. Beautiful. We don't
want to steal you from your... No, thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you, Jen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. Now, where specifically do you live? Uh, I, I live in Nairobi. Okay. In Kitale. Yeah, we have, what do you say? Uh, Nairobi, we do a lot of the training of leaders mm -hmm. around around the country. Mm -hmm. That is the center. Kitale is home. That is, you know, in Kenya you have to have a home, yes. and, <laughs> and that is where Africa Theological Seminary is, okay. and we do teaching there and, and, and all that. So I'm between the two towns most of the time. You either find me in Nairobi or find me in Kitale. Yeah. yeah. Huh. You've been well, to Kenya before? Oh uh, yes, many times. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're right, right there around Karen. That is home. Okay. Says I in yeah. huh. and so. But we, we travel around the country. I also do South Sudan. Oh, okay. I do Burundi. I, we work with uh, ETC in Ethiopia, okay. the training of leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. You're very busy. Well, um, keeps us busy, <laughs> but it's good. It's good. I like leadership development. Yeah. And so that's, that's, that's something uh, with, with the family commitments, you know, that's something I'm willing to put the time. Have you and Bauta got together much yet? You know, we've talked right now quite, okay. quite, and I need to to glean more from him. He has more experience. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We both will help each other. I would Thank love you. to see that. Thank you. As a result of being here together. Yeah. yeah. No, I actually found him to be very. We, we're sitting together next to each other now, so yeah. <laughs> we want to probably take lunch or something together. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Good. Thank you. Well, again, didn't mean to steal you. No.